outside the, the, the trend uh, hypnotic. Uh, I wanted to show the other aspect uh, of uh, uh, some consumers' uh, needs. There's a, a huge trend going to slow movement, slow fashion, slow tech, slow, uh, slow life. Lots of new trolls have a very ethical life. But sometimes it's boring and some consumers are looking for new modernity, futurism and uh, they want to go into new directions. Lots of revolutions in science and technology and uh, yeah, they're looking for modernity. They want to step further and to look uh, forward and they want to play with their eyes. Uh, lots of three-dimensional effects, lots of visual effects. Uh, they want more electric stimulations and, uh, and energies. So hypnotic, it's the comeback of uh, a mix of influences from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s um, with uh, kinetic movement and uh, the first uh, elements in, um, uh, in video games and so on. Um, so everything is going into this direction, um, a more fast life, uh, as, just as an opposition to the, the slow movement. Um, so I wanted to show this also approach uh, in the trends, uh, not only the slow movement but um, also the other, the extreme uh, thing we have in, um, in trends. Very important fair. Maison et Objet is uh, the center of lots of attentions in, uh, uh, in room decor, in, uh, in lifestyle. Um, and more and more, this uh, uh, lifestyle feeling is taking a lot of importance. And also, it's a fair uh, in its evolution, which is more and more qualitative, less but better, uh, uh, more linked to uh, an haute facture or artisanada or. Um, another dimension, so more decorative, more with style, more with uh, a new elegance, a modern elegance. Uh, maybe that's what we can find in, um, in France or in the French approach, a mix of creativity and, uh, and know-how, uh, a mix of classic and, um, and trendy. So, and consumers who are looking for yeah, um, good vibrations and good energies, uh, uh, a mix of uh, more commercial approaches and, uh, and really more cutting edge uh, and avant-garde ones. So the fair, Maison Objet has an important role to play in, uh, uh, in the trends uh, all over the world. It's like a meeting point in the, in the trends. What's trend hunting? My job is to try to understand the future, what's going to be trendy, why is it going to be like that? So it's a mix of sociological uh, references, of sociological deciphering, artistic deciphering, and also how to, to work with distributors or uh, designers or manufacturers, how to understand the innovations and uh, the evolution of, uh, of modernity, of consumer behavior, of consumer desire. So um, how do I work? Uh, I'm just the captain of, uh, uh, of the team and we run everywhere, we collect lots of information, lots of opportunities and signals and when we mix them all together uh, we begin to see some, uh, some directions, uh, we work with philosophers, we work with scientists, we work with uh, uh, plasticians, we work with economists and we try to give some directions to understand uh, some direction. It's very emotional, it's nothing's rational, but um, it can give us some, uh, uh, some uh, directions. We do also some consumer analysis, we do also some, uh, uh, some research, research just, just to uh, um, look after some cultural events. We can have also an influence on, uh, on trends. And then we can organize all of this into trend books or trend forums or uh, apply this to specific demands for our clients in, uh, in consulting. Um, it's an unusual job, it's very bizarre because uh, uh, I work in the shadow, I work in the background and uh, nobody really knows who is in front of this project or maybe sometimes you see the designers, you see uh, an exhibition in a, in a museum, you see a, a new restaurant or something, but you don't know who is behind this new positioning for a brand. Or, um, so I love this position of being in the shadow, being in the backward. And, um, and it's a mix of strategy, creativity, and business, and communication. So it's very interesting. It could be confusing, but it's very interesting. And uh, the last question is about uh, 
my importance in, uh, in the design business or um, I'm not behind consumers telling you have to do this or um, I don't oblige them to follow trends. Uh, I always tell them don't follow the trends. Be, your own, be yourself and taking the trends what's good for you to, uh, to be yourself. But uh, I, I know I have a little influence. I'm, 50, I would say, but uh, when I'm working with distributors, when I'm working with uh, uh, advertising companies, when I'm working with uh, um, producers, um, when I explain about the trends, um, I have my own feeling. Uh, but I'm just a little um, uh, element of a huge uh, culture of desire. Um, so I'm not responsible for trends, uh, but I just have one role to play into all this, uh, all this network and all those uh, connections. So I'm not the only one to tell this and to do this, no. But uh, I just have to bring you stimulations in the business.